Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel Learning Pocket and today we are going to talk about a very important piece of paper that is called Statement of Purpose. And before going into the video, I would like to tell you guys that I applied to several research internships in several IITs, NITs, ISERs and even some more institutes. And I was selected by either Bhopal, IIT, Palakkad, IIT, Roper, and IAC Bangalore. And there is no price of guessing which internship I chose. I went to IAC Bangalore and I have recently finished my internship in the same. So we are going to talk about how oh, I wrote my statement of purpose and you can follow the same pattern for your applications. So let's get into it. So the first paragraph, which is very important piece of paragraph, is going to tell the select uh, the selecting committee or whatever whoever is responsible to select you uh, that which background academic background you are from, which year student you are, which course you are enrolled in, what's your uh, main uh, maybe stream or maybe which uh, uh, stream you are from, or is it related to the research that you are applying or applying to or not. And your academic achievements, your current CGPA, your current position in the class, you can mention all those things in, in the first paragraph. If you have any external certification in that particular research field, maybe from NAPTOL or maybe any other online platform, uh, it's going to help you guys. And you should mention all those things in the very first paragraph. All the extra courses maybe you have taken in your university itself as your open elective. That also you can mention that I have taken this XYZ open elective, which is very much related to the research field that you are applying in, in for research internship itself. All those things you should mention it, and they are going to highlight how, uh, or maybe they are going to highlight uh, that you are really interested in academics or research it's, itself. Next paragraph would be about uh, how you are. Uh, motivated so what motivates you to do research in that particular field which you are applying to what's the relative relevant experience you have maybe you have done some projects maybe you're involved in some project right now maybe you have done some previous internships related to this particular research field then you can write all those things on what experiences you have gained in particular something which is very important you think should be mentioned you can write all those things and why are you applying to this internship only why not uh, research internships in, in any other institute so that also you can write in that this i am applying in this particular institute because of maybe that particular research field is very very high tech or maybe very very good in the in the institute you are applying in so you can apply that what is your source of motivation for that particular in that particular research field What's your relevant experience and why only that institute which are applying for the research? All those things should be compiled in the second paragraph. Or what I did was I compiled them in the second paragraph. So the third thing is, uh, or the third paragraph is all about what are your soft skills, which plays a very important role in, in any sort of internship, no matter you're doing going for research or maybe from industrial internship. This is a very piece of very important piece of information, and they, they, this is a very important skill that you can bring up on the table. So all the soft skills that you have, maybe leadership, teamwork, or maybe time management, all those things you can mention. And it is really, really, really important to give relevant example instead of just writing that I am a good time manager, I am a good leader. Instead of that, just write down you are a good leader because you have done certain activities which required a leadership skill. Maybe you are a leader, you were leader of some group activity. You can uh, tell me what as a leader you did that you uh, channeled the energy of all your group member into the project. You resolved some conflicts or maybe you motivated them to work even harder. All those things you can mention. So give relevant example instead of just mentioning some soft skills that I have these sorts of skills because nobody is going to believe that. And you can write some co-curricular activities that you did because only doing those activities are going to enhance your soft skills. So you can also give them examples related to that also. And what makes you a good candidate, uh, you can write that these are the plus points which you won't find in other candidates, which makes me special or which makes me a very good candidate for that particular research internship. Okay, so it's very important to highlight all those soft skills. 
and next up we have next paragraph is will be all all about uh, some concluding lines that why you want to in, do a research that i want to go for higher studies and all those things you can mention that and the acknowledgement part is just a piece of formal writing that uh, i would be very grateful for the research and uh, research oppor opportunity if uh, uh if given i would work, work really really hard i would be asset to you all those things you can write in the fourth paragraph and it is very important you write and to be very clear that what you want back from the research internship that is going to go in your conclusion that whether you are what what's what is the importance of that research internship in your life or maybe in your career so what role that internship plays and most of the times the research, the people who are selecting the research intern they want they want to motivate the people or the students they are selecting to go for higher studies or to go for research so that's an important thing so keep this in mind and be very clear what you want why are you applying for research internships and mention them in the conclusion side that i want to go for higher studies maybe you want to do some final year project related to this particular research topic so you that's why you want to go for an internship so that you can have a wide range of knowledge about the same so you can also write that and keep uh, keep in mind these four points these are really really very important first of all make a rough draft of your statement of purpose don't think too much just make a rough draft that uh, is going to be your first draft of your statement of purpose then you can do editing in that also that only and check your grammar get your grammar checked with maybe uh, there are several softwares available online who are going to who can check your grammar and maybe you can show it to your maybe your teachers your mentors who are very good at grammar or english make sure there are no punctuation errors no common errors that most of the people have because it is going to have a very very bad effect on your statement of purpose and get it reviewed get your statement of review yeah, after forming the draft just get it reviewed by the experts maybe some of your mentors get it uh, get it reviewed by maybe your close friends maybe the people who have done research in this particular field in my case i get it reviewed by some of the alumni of my college and even with my professor itself and they gave me a really really brilliant feedbacks and i just uh, imbibe them in my sop so after that you can uh, edit the statement of purpose according to the research internship you are applying in just don't blindly send the same sop in all the institutes so just make it customize make it uh, edit it a bit according to the research internship you are applying to okay and while applying uh, don't make sure you are not sending the wrong sop to the wrong institute so it happens to me once it happened to me once just don't do it okay it is straight away going to cancel your application so that was all from my side if you liked if you think it it was helpful please give us some thumbs up and if you think there is some scope of improvement you can write down your feedback in the comment section itself do subscribe our channel for more videos like this so i will take your leave for now bye bye